Hello everyone, welcome to another art time lapse of Sharon. Today I'm doing a piece that is a little different from my regular Studio Ghibli fan, anime fan art, and I'm just doing a peaceful piece inspired by the theme of a carousel. Uh, the idea of a carousel is kind of like life, it keeps going round and round and there are its ups and downs, but it just keeps turning and you just have to hang on tight on this journey called life. So today I want to do kind of like a whimsical piece of a girl with her carousel. I don't have an explicit idea of the reasoning behind why I'm really drawn to carousel at this point, uh, but I hope to take this opportunity to practice is drawing details on the carousel. So as always, I start off with a little bit of watered down gouache. I'm using a light apricot right here from Holbein gouache, and then also some light lilac here. I'm putting it on my soy sauce dish that I usually use, given that I don't use a lot of paint when I kind of water down my paint in the beginning to kind of stake out where everything's located. So I usually use a small soy sauce dish with my small brush, just diluting a plenty of water to give it a water color effect. This is a great way for me to stake out where the face will be, where the carousel will be located. I do not usually draft out um, the concept for my artwork with pens or paper or anything like that. I usually go straight to the watercolor paper. So this is my way of kind of drafting out where I want everything to be. The one thing I really love about gouache is that like I can usually um, rework the area uh, if I don't like it or if I make a mistake, especially after it dries because of how opaque uh, the paint property is, I can just wait for it to dry and then overlap it with another color, just like acrylics. Right now, I'm using this light lilac to kind of mark down where her hands are going to be. I feel like a sense of like dreamy and light just feel very light when I'm kind of drawing this piece and that's the that's the feeling I want to convey when people are looking at this they just feel light-hearted and like they're floating and I feel like this lilac color lightly kind of creates this sense of dreaminess so I want this girl who is gonna have her hair in a bun probably like maybe she's just finishing dance class or something and she just put her hands on the table and looking at this miniature carousel that is in front of her. I wonder if she's thinking about her experience at carousel when she was younger, the, the precious memory she's had from her childhood, from being on a carousel and now growing up and looking at this miniature carousel and reminiscing reminiscing these ideas of how life kind of goes on up and down but you just kind of had to hang on tight and keep going on this carousel experience we call life so here you can see i'm using some ombre brown color as well the ombre brown color i've diluted plenty of water and also add in a little bit of light apricot so i can start staking out where the shadow colors are gonna be you can see that the light is actually shining from the back of the girl so her face is slightly darker when it's kind of facing the miniature carousel i can imagine this miniature carousel being perhaps even a music box and she's winding up and she's listening to the music of the carousel and i wonder what kind of music show here when she's winding up this music box and listening to it imagine something very light very optimistic positive tone and like just very um whimsical perhaps more like almost like a lullaby that you hear for a child i imagine that's why she has her eyes closed and she's just reminiscing and enjoying the moment and the music uh, how often I mean, nowadays do we usually take the time to think about, kind of self-reflect and just enjoy being in the moment or even reminiscing like how wonderful we had it back when we were younger. I think nowadays we're so busy thinking about what we have to do next um, that we kind of miss out on like cherishing and being grateful for that. Um, 
I don't think our lives are really geared towards gi giving us those provisions for having those times. And um, sometimes it feels like we need permission for it too, given that like, if you're not working, it feels like you are slacking off. But sometimes you just need time for yourself. Here, I'm working on the carousel. I'm thinking like, originally I planned a lot of details related to it, but with my style of wash, being very abstract and just like wispy details with the gouache with plenty of water diluted it might be a little bit hard to add the details so I'll see what happens but you can see the pieces slowly come into play, into play but I'm a little bit worried given that like the color tone of her skin for her hands and her face is just so similar to the background that I'll probably need to work on that color a little bit. Here, it feels like I am working in lightning speed as I'm working on this piece. But to be honest, it takes me way longer to get to this moment of where I am right now. You can see my daughter's hand actually poking in now. She's just hanging out with me while I'm drawing. There's her tiny hand. Oh my gosh, she's only going to be tiny for so long. But she's really enjoying watching me paint. So there, she's just participating in the process. She's like, mom, you should use some blue. So... It's nice to that she's making a feature in one of my YouTube videos. Here, I'm adding some blue in the background because as I mentioned, I don't want the background to be too similar to her skin tone. And I think that a light blue will be like a nice contrast. Still have a little bit of that dreaminess and abstractness associated with it. So need to wait for that blue to dry before adding in the next layer. And the hard part with painting something like this is just being patient with the piece and being patient with the process, letting, giving time for the paint to dry before adding on the next layer because if you're not patient with it, it's going to blend itself and kind of ruin all the work you've put in so far, which I think is very representation of the whole message behind life as well, that like you really have to take your time, be patient as well with yourself. So here I'm adding a lot more ombre brown and it's like the details are slowly coming into play. I actually really love the placement of her hand. It just feels very gentle. And yeah, just adding in some darker colors to create the contrast. I just feel like this piece is just still too pastel -y. needs a little bit more contrast for the details to stand out. What do you guys think? I should mentioned at this point if you like the content on this channel please consider like subscribe and commenting it will really help a lot and for those of you who've been following me on my art journey thank you so much for joining me again on another art time lapse and listening to my process as you've heard in a number of my youtube videos i feel like it's so important that we emphasize on the process of the art piece not just looking at the final piece and how beautiful it may look but the transformation of the piece is also so important and so much um kind of like a signature component of that art piece which is why a lot of times when I do an art piece and someone buys one of my original pieces, I like to create art time lapse and send them a copy, send them like a link to the YouTube video so they can see how the piece was created. Sometimes the, the idea behind the piece just comes about as you're painting rather than having the full blown idea panned out in your head even before the piece starts. Here I decided to add in some violet colors because I think the violet is such a great contrast color to highlight the shadows and also adding in a bit of cobalt blue with the violet will blend in nicely and create a general blue theme that will match with the background. You can see some of the colors I added in later look so much lighter after I add in this violet co dark cobalt and violet mix. And I think it's just coming out so beautifully. I hope you can still see the essence of where I'm coming from for this piece of the carousel that goes round and round in life because things just go up and down and we just have to hang on tight and the carousel will just keep going. Life goes on. And I think I'm almost wrap up for this piece. Thank you so much for joining me on this art time lapse of the carousel we call life. Um, 
If you like more of these videos, please check out some of my other art time lapses. But for now, this is the finished piece. Thank you so much for joining me. Well, everybody stay safe and I'll see you in the next video. Take care and bye for now.